that was my presentation um, for um, presenting some of the work that we're doing at Myeloma UK on looking at feedback um, from patients and we obtained this feedback through one of our programs at Myeloma UK which is called the Clinical Service Excellence Programme which is an accreditation programme for hospitals across the UK looking at the quality of care they provide benchmarked against a set of standards but we ask patients um, or they ask their patients or send um, the survey out to their patient groups um, to fill out a quality of not quality of life a patient experience questionnaire so we've got over 40 centers um, that have now gone through the process in the UK so we basically pulled the data together from um, some of the patient experience feedback that we got and looked at that overall um, so that a we can um, see what broad concerns there are for patients across the UK um, what what patients are sort of struggling with what they would like to change about their treatment but also for the individual hospital they see those results and they can maybe make service development changes so one of the key things was about waiting times um, Clinics are really busy now, um, myeloma patients are on treatment for longer, they're surviving longer pleasingly, but it me means that the clinics are sort of huge and waiting times go up and you know, patients do struggle with that. They don't always say, but like in these surveys they said to us, so um, using that feedback, hospitals are looking at different ways to try and reduce that to uh, maybe open up more nurse-led, pharmacist-led clinics. Um, have a little bit more outreach um, with treatments and things, looking at trying to reduce the weights for pharmacy by pre-prescribing medications, those sorts of things. Um, but, you know, overall as well, looking at um, some of the other things that patients were saying on their feedback, it was about having good communication, good, clear, honest communication from their clinicians um, and also good coordination of care so that sort of coordination between their myeloma team and another speciality or um, with their primary care physician um, just for it to be like quite joined up because I think patients do find that frustrating um, so yeah it's you know data that we're continuing to build and look at and um, helps us to sort of keep keep a real eye on how it is for patients you know it's great having all the new treatments and um, so much going on in the world of myeloma but how we deliver that and what the experience is for patients sort of sitting in the clinic clinical area and in their hospital something we always need to be mindful of and looking at how we can improve that